The University of Maryland Medical System is proud to support the work of the American Heart Association by driving equitable health in our communities through nutrition security, from farm to kitchen to table. The Empowered to Cook video series is an example of that work. Improving diet and creating environments that support healthy choices are critical to increasing cardiovascular health. Foods can be an integral part of the faith community and bring people together. Places of worship may host meals and provide a welcoming and loving place to find family. Having support from the faith community can help many who experience food and nutrition insecurity. It is important to note that people living in communities of color disproportionately face barriers that perpetrate poverty and hunger. Because of this, these communities have a higher prevalence of chronic disease such as heart disease and diabetes. Our goal is to increase access to healthy foods and provide education on how to prepare these foods in an effort to improve health outcomes. Together with the American Heart Association, we are seeking to build a culture of health and our faith communities with knowledge of resources for healthier eating and living, and by making sure that healthy choice is also an easy and cost-effective choice. Hi, I'm Chef Stephanie Rose with the American Heart Association, and this is Empowered to Cook. And today, I am going to be making this fabulous roasted sweet potato taco. Trust me, when you put this out there, the kids are gonna love it, grandma's gonna love it, and you're gonna love it. So let's get started. I have this phenomenal, beautiful blue sweet potato, and I have an orange one. And yes, we, we already cut them up, because I want this to go fast, and it's fast anyway. I mean, you can get your whole family in to, to peel them, and you could make a huge batch. All I'm gonna do here is drizzle a little bit of nice, clean oil. Okay, I also wanna put, put my spice on this. You know, let's not put it in dry and boring. So I have some little bit of chili powder. Now, chili powder can be sneaky, so when you're buying chili powder at the store, make sure it's salt free. You know how I am about making your own, make your own spices, spice blends, you know, but it's nice that it's, it's more available. And then we're going to put a little bit of, a little bit of cumin, love cumin. And then I might be putting a little bit of, a little bit of salt. Okay. You know, a little, little bit of salt's not going to hurt. When you're cooking at home, you are regulating the amount of sodium that goes into your food. So just a little bit of salt, eighth of a eighth of a teaspoon. That's pretty much our, our standard. So great, this I'm going to put on my sheet tray. I'm gonna separate these bad boys. The orange ones get on one side and the purple ones get to be on the other side because I don't want the colors to mix. My oven is already preheating to 425, which is hot. Uh, so you do need to keep an eye on these. It says to cook half an hour, check on them. So set your timer, put them in. Wonderful. I have my beautiful uh, sweet potatoes in the oven. So I'll go ahead and start with this. Be careful. Sometimes they are really hot. So you want to wash your hands very carefully afterwards. Definitely do not want to touch your face, your eyes, your ears when you are dealing with jalapenos. So again, I'm going to do my, you know, I cut it in panels and nice little strips. I'm going to get not a total teeny tiny dice, but kind of thin when you're cutting. Make it work for you. It's always funny to see people in awkward positions when they're dicing their food. I'm like, just pull it towards you. <laughs> It'd be so much easier. Okay, now we got a little, little onion again. Flying all over the place. Stabilize it. Let's get that end off. I, I adore onions. I could eat onions. I, I think I do eat onions every day. And they are really good for you, so why not, you know? And inexpensive. This, this whole meal is inexpensive. And you know, that's one of the nice things I think about a taco, taco dinner. So again, I'm just gonna make this a, perhaps not as small as my 
jalapenos. If you can't get jalapenos and you want to use a serrano, I think that's an, a nice um, substitute. Plopping this in with my jalapenos. Let's get some garlic. We love our garlic. And if you can, try to buy the fresh. Now I'm gonna smash them. And voila. I think the fresh always tastes better. And if you do wanna chop up a bunch ahead of time, you know, to have in your fridge, sometimes I do that. The best way I find to store it is um, just kind of cover it a little bit with olive oil and, you know, put it in one of these little jars. And I think all of my mise en place is ready. So I am ready to get sauteing on the stove. I am ready to saute. But first I need a hot pan. So I'm gonna put this on high. I'm gonna put in a little bit of oil. Want a hot pan to start with because I wanna get some color on my corn. We have some beautiful corn. It could be out of a can, it could be frozen corn. You know, whatever you can get your hands on. You make sure your pan is hot. Let's see how this sounds. We happy with that? I like that. It's gonna start popping too. I want it to start popping. I have to give credit where it's due. It was actually my cousin in New Orleans who turned me onto this recipe. And then I loved it so much, I decided that it had to be an AHA recipe because everybody's got to try these. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add my onions in now. Got my jalapenos. And I'm going to hold off on the garlic. I'm going to wait to the end on that. So I feel like my onions are just a little bit more cooked, ready for garlic. And this is definitely gonna need a little bit of liquid. So I have a little bit of water ready to go in here. We also have a little bit of apple cider, which is kind of awesome. Add my beans, piece of cake. So here's my apple cider vinegar. A little bit of honey, just cute. Not a lot. If you don't like honey, but I think this is the honey is really good. Sometimes I'll use agave. All right. Ooh, beautiful. Last but not least is the wonderful fresh squeezed lime. So I have one and a half limes, it's perfect. And that'll be plenty because we are gonna be squeezing, you know, some limes on it right before we eat it after we adorn it with all of the wonderful condiments that we'll be serving with this. And I'm hoping that our potatoes are finished in the oven. That would be wonderful. So I'm gonna take a look at them. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice little color on the bottom. This is my favorite way to Heat up the tortillas. Certainly is the healthiest way. Just getting a little, look how soft they get soft and they get beautiful. Little grill marks. You do this on the grill. You could do this in a, you know, in a griddle or a comal, what they would typically use, but it adds that nice char flavor. And they're soft if they become more malleable, okay? You can't just eat them like this. That does not work. So this is how I do it at home for my family. That's fabulous. And then once they're done, you wanna you know, put them in a little basket and cover them up so they can stay warm. Okay, here we go. I think I'm ready to try out a, one of these delicious tacos. So I'm gonna put a spoonful of the, the bean mixture in here. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. Sprinkle a little of my crispy purple, and then we have a little bit of the orange. I really love the combination, fabulous. Then maybe I'm gonna put them in my little taco stand, like that. 
and then add some of the garnishes. And then, let me move my bean mixture over here. This is also the fun part, okay? You can really, you can make your own, you know, green tomatilla salsa. You could make your own pico de gallo, which, you know, is the tomato. It's like a little salad. You know, any of this is, is beautiful. I typically don't even put cheese on my, my, my tacos at home anymore. I, I've sort of moved away from that. So I'm just, but this is a, this is a lovely Mexican tocotillo cheese. It's kind of dry, lower fat, little like Parmesan, but, but not. Um, so we'll put a little bit of that on it if you really want it. And if not, if you're like a, a sour cream kind of girl, or, or, or boy, you know, a little bit of, just a little bit of sour cream would be lovely. And gotta have some avocado. So a little cilantro. This green tomatillo salsa is actually very, very easy to make. And it, it's not spicy. So it's those wonderful tomatillos that are cooked down soft with a little garlic. Oh my goodness, a little, a little jalapeno pepper. So look what we have here. We're gonna give it just a just a light sprinkling of the cotillo cheese. There we go. Now this is a, this is a, a a taco bar a supreme. What could be better? So enjoy.